So uh, TechCrunch Disrupt uh, was recently, and the company that created Siri originally that Apple Apple bought Siri from, um, they've actually started to tease their next virtual assistant. Um, her name will be Viv. Um, interestingly enough, it, it sounds like it's going to be less of an app and more of kind of a, an Alexa type ecosystem where you can plug into a multitude of services. When you think of Alexa, think of, I think personally, I think of, you know, audible, read me this book or turn my hue lights on or play this across my Sonos or, or whatnot. So those types of services, when you think of them, you're really using the AI to then make use of hundreds or thousands of other services. Um, this is much of that same vein where you're going to be able to say, remind me when I'm on my way to my brother's house to pick up a bottle of wine that will pair with the lasagna I made. Um, AIs today can't, can't really handle that. If you start to look at where Microsoft wants to take Cortana and Facebook wants to take its kind of chat bots. I think this is of the same same type of theory. Um, it's definitely something of interest to me uh, personally. I, I could find myself using this a lot. Um, I find myself using. I, I'm looking forward to the Cortana update for Xbox One to see what that brings, um, because I'm very big on controlling devices with my voice this seems to to me to kind of take it to the next level like i said where you could say remind me of this or on such and such day please process an order for flowers for mother's day or or, or whatnot so that that's where i could definitely see see a product like this and the other thing where where i really enjoy seeing updates and other companies come to the stage um for this is it, it definitely spawns other companies like Google, Apple, Facebook, Microsoft. They're all going to have to answer back to this, right? So how how are they going to up their game and their services to compete? Um, so I'm huge on competition, as we've talked before in the show. Mm -hmm. So I, I have a question about all this. So is this more on the natural language recognition level? Is that kind of the advance? Like, what's the advancement that they're making that's making this possible? It's it's the natural language. It has a better understanding of complex questions. So one of the examples, will it be warmer than 70 degrees near the Golden Gate Bridge after 5 p.m. the day after tomorrow? Okay. 